How's it going? I'm Sam from Gazelle Sports, and today I'm going to be talking to you about an all-new release from Adidas for 2018, the Adidas Solar Boost. All right, like I was saying, brand new for 2018 from Adidas is the Solar Boost. So this shoe comes in at $160, so kind of jumping into that premium price point. Um, the drop of the shoe is a little bit more traditional. It comes in at 10 millimeters, offset from heel to toe. And then we weighed the men's size nine and it came in at 10.2 ounces. And then the women's size eight came in at 9.4 ounces. So Adidas was able to shave off a little bit of that excess weight from similar shoes that they've released in the past. So a question we've got a lot concerning the Solar Boost is, is this a direct replacement for a shoe like the Supernova or like the Energy Boost? While Solar Boost falls into that premium cushion category, it's not a direct replacement for Energy. And while it's similarly, similarly shaped to the Supernova, it's again, not the replacement for the Supernova. Adidas decided to go forward with a complete redesign and they wanted to brand it accordingly. So Energy and Supernova are going away and we're gonna move forward with Adidas Solar, which includes the Solar Boost, Solar Glide, and Solar Glide ST. So specifically on the Solar Boost, we see a couple of updates, but we also see a few things that are pretty familiar. Boost, same midsole that we're gonna see here with an EVA match on here. We've got 80% Boost, 20% EVA, and that's gonna be consistent throughout the entire Solar line to make things nice and easy, nice and consistent. Um, on the bottom, we have the Continental Stretch Web outsole, um, and then we have that T-bone torsion control system that's similar to what we see on the Ultra Boost from Adidas. So a couple of new things that they've included on the Solar Boost is they've moved that torsion system to go up further into the midfoot, which makes the shoe overall a little bit more responsive and a little snappier. They lowered the amount of boost in the heel um, compared to the Supernova because that was getting a little chunky a little clunky when you were running in that um, while being still very, very nice, soft and plush. Um, we have the tech fit in the forefoot like we saw in previous versions of the Energy Boost. So it's gonna hug the foot nice and snug, but it's not gonna restrict any motion. It's gonna still allow those toes to splay out and not feel restrictive. And then one of the coolest components of the Solar Boost is the inclusion of their new cage. So their new cage includes technology called tailored fiber placement which is taking recycled ocean plastic through their partnership with Parlay, and it's weaving that on top of one another to make a nice reinforced structure that can hold the midfoot in place, but not feel as intrusive as some of the plastic cages have in the past. And last but not least, we see a butterfly-shaped heel cup, similar to, again, what we have seen on shoes like Supernova Energy and Ultra Boost in the past. Um, but they really cleaned up the fit. It doesn't feel nearly as loose as it did in the Supernova. It still has that nice stretchy elastic material on the back that's gonna allow your Achilles to oscillate up and down without feeling restricted. But these nice caps on either side are gonna keep your heel in place. And I can tell you from experience, the fit inside the shoe, especially toward the heel, is a lot more secure. So the biggest takeaway for Solar Boost is that Adidas wanted this to be their most versatile running shoe yet. And I think they've totally nailed it. They made the adjustments where they needed to, they kept the technology that was working, and it all came together in a really, really awesome package that's gonna work well for a lot of different runners. Again, they made the adjustments in the heel where it's gonna fit a lot better. The midfoot with the cage holds a lot more snug, but isn't as restrictive as the plastic was. And again, that nice flexible forefoot is gonna work well for someone who needs a little extra toe splay or likes a little bit of extra movement up front there. And again, plenty of cushion in the shoe that's gonna take you those longer miles if you need them. And then enough response, with, especially with the addition of that torsion system up through the midfoot for someone who's looking for a faster tempo shoe or some speed work at the track. The fit is gonna fit, work a lot better on many different foot styles and for lots of different styles of training. All right, thanks for checking out the video. If you wanna try the Solar Boost for yourself, we do have those in stock in our stores. We have men's and women's available. And we also have those on our website at gazellesports.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can keep up to date on the newest shoe review videos. And we'll catch you on the next one.